Yo, what's good everybody? Hope y'all having a great day. Real quick, if you haven't seen it yet, I just posted a video of me reacting to my old highlights along with the Q&A at the end of the video. So if you haven't seen that, if you want to watch that, you can go watch that. I'll leave a link to it somewhere around here. All right, now let's get into this video. So after I posted my Justin Fields video, which did pretty well, a lot of you guys were telling me that he's not the number one quarterback in the nation and that this dude is. And I was kind of confused because on ESPN's website of the top 300 players in high school, it says that Justin Fields is the number one player in the class, the number one quarterback, well, I mean, if you're the number one player, I'll put you as the number one quarterback as well. But then when I looked at this dude, he was also the number one quarterback, so I was really confused. But then I saw that ESPN actually breaks down their quarterbacks into dual threat or pocket passer, so Justin Fields is the number one dual threat quarterback, as well as just being the best player in the nation, and this dude is the number one pocket passer in the nation. Which is crazy, because both of them are from Georgia, which means that Georgia has the two best quarterbacks in the entire nation. And this dude's not far behind Justin Fields either. He's the number three player in the nation. So today I'm going to be reacting to Trevor Lawrence's highlight tape. And thank you to everyone who pointed out to me that this dude is also one of the top quarterbacks in the nation. So while Justin Fields highlight tape was absolutely crazy, like dude was out there making plays, dropping dimes, running over kids, hitting them with the B button. Like dude was nice, but I also like to see it when there's just the quarterbacks who just step back and just be throwing dimes, just surgically tearing apart defenses. So I want to see who's the better quarterback between Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence. So let's just get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, it's time to find out who's the best quarterback in the class of 2018, Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields? Let's go. So this, so this is your more traditional, like, prototype, what you want to put away. Dude, 6'6", six, six, dude, tall dog, get out. Got some mobility, too, for 6'6", six, six, okay. Dimes, let's go. Get off me, little boy. Oh, we do that, oh, dang. Dude looking like sunshine out there though with that long hair though. <laughs> Ooh, nice move, number seven. Going deep on him, going deep on him. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Hey, for 6'6", six, six, this dude's got some moves. Bruh, like, like this dude can actually move, like. Okay. Bruh, this dude's finessing people out here. Bruh, that, that's, a, that's a tight window to throw into. Dude's, dude's some dimes. Bruh. He's got an arm too, okay. I don't think he has as big of an arm as uh, Justin Fields though. But he's, a, he's got a cannon though as far as like just throwing lasers. Right there, he's right there. I would have just ripped it to that, to that under, uh, the, ooh, that's a, that's a sketchy throw. That is a sketchy throw. God, that field looks perfect. Cut, yep, I was about to say, come right. Okay, this dude, this dude can move way too well for being 6'6". Six, six. Why didn't that dude block him? Oh my God. Go back. Dime. Ooh. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Oh, going deep on him. For him to be off balance and throw it that far that accurately. Oh my. This dude's spin move is ridiculous, yo. Yo. 
I don't know. I still like Justin Fields, but this dude. Hey, I mean, for 6'6", six, six, this dude moves crazy well. I can I can see I can see why college doesn't really like this dude. This dude's going to Clemson by the way, so I mean hey. Wow, that's a really way to stay with the ball, young receiver. Yeah, this dude's going to Clemson, so uh Oh, he just run over that dude. My god. No, okay, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. I like how he I like how he went right back to being calm. Most of the time when when quarterbacks get the ball and it like bobbles or something like that, they just like completely freak out. But it's like nah this dude's staying calm and collected. Bro, that's such an hard throw to make. I can I can see I can definitely see why this dude's the number one pocket passer. Even though this dude's running all over the place. I think it's kind of a disrespectful thing to call him a pocket passer. This dude's got way too much mobility to be just called a pocket passer. But I think just because they wanted to make him the number one quarterback it, as well, but Justin Fields obviously is the best dual threat quarterback. But this dude, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this dude can move. It's like that um, that debate with uh, Cam Akers and, uh, not Cam Akers, Cam Newton and uh, Andrew Luck. One second, there's another highlight that I want to watch that I'm going to get into. But yeah, so like I was saying, it's like the debate with um, Cam Newton and Andrew Luck when they were both coming out. Everyone's like, oh, Cam Newton's so athletic, Cam Newton's so athletic. Andrew Luck was literally just as athletic in every single stat. Like, they had almost the identical 40s, identical verts. So, I, hey, I don't know. But th this dude, this dude can move. And he's, he's got an arm, too. Normally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do the opening highlights. But for quarterbacks, this is where you get to see, like, where they actually, if they got touch and just throwing down. So I, 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 want, I want to see this. I'm telling you, this dude's looking like sunshine from, <laughs> from uh, Remember the Titans. Sunshine. Dime. Nice pump. Oh, so they did show some of his, some of his highlights to me. I thought it was just going to be only opening highlights. Well, we can go back and, and analyze this twice. See, ugh. I mean, that, that, that's where you have to put the ball. I, I can't even say anything bad about that. That's where you have to put the ball. This dude's pumped. Like, th this dude, like, he might not have just raw speed like Justin Fields. But, I mean, just to be able to make people miss, this dude is a master at that. Okay, there's a couple plays in here that we didn't see. There you go. And these are against the best high school talent in as far as like the secondary too, so like it's good to see him making plays like out here. This dude, this dude can rip it. This this dude can really rip it. Like, like it, it's just crazy to me that he's six six and is able to move this well. Like, I think Peyton Manning's the same size, and like, dude is no. <laughs> we all know how unathletic Peyton Manning is. <laughs> Back up against your own goal line. Oh, right there. Yep. You see, he he waited for him to get more open because if he he, he would have thrown it right there, it would have been fine. But he would have he would have lost like five yards because they would have came down on him faster. So he just waited, 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 and then ripped it in there. What do you go up and get that? Okay, we've already seen this play. So let's fast forward. Let's catch. Yeah, this dude's just dissecting this team. You know, this dude, this dude can rip it. See, he threw him open. He threw him open. There was a guy. On, on the receiver's right, and he had more room on the left, and then just fit it right in there and threw him open. Okay, 
okay, I like what I saw. I like what I saw. Again, I think that Justin Fields is the better player. I mean, that's why he's the number one player in the class of 2018. But Trevor Lawrence is not far behind. I mean, he's the number three overall rated player. But, like, dude can move so well for being so tall. Like, he had he had a little hesitations. Pump fake game was on point. Like, uh, like, I honestly think that he's a dual threat quarterback. I think it's, like, a disservice to call him a pocket passer. Like, just because he's taller than most people and he's not blazing fast. I mean, dude can still make moves out there. So, I think he, he's going to be a great quarterback at Clemson. I can't wait to see him there just because, yo, Clem, Clemson's always one of those teams that's there just really fun to watch. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 100 likes? That lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below. One, who do you think is the better quarterback? Do you think that Trevor Lawrence is a better quarterback or do you think that Justin Fields is a better quarterback? Let me know down below, but also let me know of any other players that you guys want me to watch because that's how I know who you guys want me to watch and also how to grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I'm coming out with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alright, but with that all being said, hope y'all have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.